Beautiful, what's good? Benny Matthews here with the Vibe Vibrations. Come here to serve you. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are abundant. Uh, let's get right into the video. I just came back from meditating. I uh, meditated for, uh, I don't even know how long. I think it was like 20 minutes. Good for you guys. You guys are meditating right now. I, I, I uh, highly advise you. I highly recommend you to um, meditating. If you want me to make a video about meditation, I will link that. I will make a video. Just let me know in the comment box down below, but let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. The universe will not support your dreadlock journey if you're weak. That's real. That's real. Look at this line in the background, okay? I live by strength. I live by courage, and you should too. Now, what I mean by this is, in your journey... Whether it's dreadlocks or, in or anything else in general, starting a business, getting to where you want to be, you can't be weak. Okay? You, you just can't. Now, we live in a world where there's laws. One of those laws is the law of attraction. All right? So, what you put out there, you're going to receive back. And I'm going to break it down to you guys right now. The universe doesn't support weakness. At all. So let me give you an example. You're growing your dreadlocks. Or you're about to, you, yeah, let's just say you haven't even started growing your dreadlocks yet, but you want to. You put it in your mind that you want to start growing your dreadlocks. All right. And you just, you're already being negative about it. Now, weakness could be in a sense of negativity, weakness can be in a sense of jealousy, envy, guilt, disapproval. All those things could be a negative, all those things could be a weakness. So if you're coming into the game with a negative mentality, the universe has nothing to give you at all. The universe isn't going to support you. You know, we live in a world where we, we, you know, we can receive nothing but endless blessings. There's endless blessings for everybody. You know, there's abundance for everybody, but it's mental. Okay. You got to align yourself to receive that. What I mean by aligning yourself is, you got to put yourself in a positive manner in order to receive these positive things. All right? The universe only wants to support the strong, the courageous, the brave, the, the bold, the people that's actually going to go out there and go get it. That's what the universe wants to support. The universe can't support weakness. The universe can't support fear. If you're already in fear and you're already in doubt that your dreadlocks aren't going to be what you want it to be or your dreadlocks just aren't growing... The universe is going to be like, mm, I ain't got time for this. I'm going to move on to somebody else who wants my blessings. You have to align yourself to good things in order for good things to happen to you. So with dreadlocks, right, if you want your dreadlocks to grow, of course, you're going to have to take the necessary practices to grow, but it's mental. It starts in here first, all right? Your dreadlocks will grow. Your dreadlocks will get long, long if you put your, if you align yourself with positive thinking. It's that simple. Now, it sounds simple, but I'm telling you guys, it's work. It takes work in order to get to this, I guess, abundance that you that you want in your lifestyle, all right? The universe ain't going to give nothing to you if all you're doing is being scared, if all you're doing is doubting your dreadlocks, you're doubting yourself. Like, why are you doubting yourself? You, you, you know that you're the source, right? You know you're the master, of your life, right? You know you have all the power in the world to create your lifestyle. So why would you want to be weak? Why are you doing it? I love my life. My life is beautiful. I love it to the top. And the only thing that I've given my life is positivity the whole time. I made a video a couple of days ago about the three Ps. The only three Ps that you need when it comes to growing your dreadlocks. Patience, persistence, and positivity positivity. You need that in order to grow your dreadlocks, man. Because like I said, there's going to be times, there's going to be days that you're just like, you know what, man? I want to cut my hair. I don't want to do my hair no more. I don't want to protect it. Yo, there's going to be, I'm telling you, there's going to be days like that all the time. But you have to remember, those are just thoughts. We aren't our thoughts at all. But our thoughts can create our reality. So if all you're doing is thinking weakness, all you're going to receive is weakness. That's, it's that simple, guys. I don't, it's a daily practice that you have to do. This is why I meditate. 
I meditate for mindfulness. I meditate to keep myself in check. I meditate to understand my thoughts and my feelings. That's me spending time with me. That's me being positive for myself. And I'm telling you, you guys got to do the same for you. Even the people I surround myself with, you know, if they're not positive, I don't, I don't need that. And that's in any aspect of life. So if I'm hanging out with people with dreadlocks and all they're doing is like, what? Putting themselves down or saying, oh, I wish my dress was this. I wish myself was dress was that. I wish my dress was longer. I wish my dress was shorter. I wish my dress was thicker. Yeah, all this, I wish was, but it's, it just sounds negative. Because if you're not doing anything about it, it's, it's a negative. It's a weakness. You're crying. You're bitching. What you bitching about? Life is beautiful. These are my locks. I love them. I love my locks. And that's why they're here. That's why they're here to stay. Even if I cut them. I still love me. Me being weak has nothing to do with cutting my dreadlocks. Uh, did I say that? I think I said that, you know, wrong. Me cutting my dreadlocks doesn't make me weak. Hey, that's what I'm saying. If I ever decide to cut my dreadlocks, that's on me. Because I thought about it. You know, that doesn't make me weak. But what I'm saying to you guys is, yo, stay strong in your journey. Stay brave. Stay bold. Stay focused. Stay disciplined. Keep going with your journey. The universe is the universe has to give it back to you. Just like I said, if the universe is seeing you being positive, the universe see you working on yourself. If the universe see you doing the things that you need to do for yourself, the universe is like, man, I want to give this man my all. God is looking at you like, man, God helped those who help themselves. And that's what people get it confused all the time. People think, oh man. It's not working for me, so this I guess this is just my life. No, no, it's, it's, it's not. It's not like that at all. You think of that way because all you think of is negative thoughts. I know, it's, and, it, and like I said, it's a practice. It's, it's really it's a practice, guys, to be, pal to be positive. But you got to understand, like, yo, we were made from positivity. We, you know, it's just, we live in a world right now where there's things that distract us, things that put us in a low vibration. That's why you have to do what you have to do to keep your vibrations high. Meditate, eat right, give back to the universe. The universe will give back to you. It's mental. I'm telling you guys, man, that weak shit that you guys be going through or attempting or living, man, yo, the universe doesn't support that at all. At all. We are the source and we were made for, okay, so look, we were made from the source. That source can be your God, your universe, whatever it is. We were made from that. You think the source is telling us, oh man, I want you to live a weak life, a low vibrational life. No, no, what? That makes no sense. That would be a waste of time of the universe. The universe wants us to be abundant. The universe wants us to succeed, okay? We are the source. So once you understand that, once you tap into yourself and understand that, I'm telling you, everything will make sense. It made sense a couple of months for me. I started this spiritual awakening a couple of months ago. I'm 30 years old, guys, and it's finally starting to make sense to me. What doesn't make sense is I'm wearing Nike and uh, Under Armour. <laughs> but I don't live by labels. You know, I wear what I want to wear. I don't care. Nevertheless, guys, yo, align yourself into positive energy. Align yourself to positive things. Because you're going to receive it right back. It's the law. It's the law. I'm, yeah, I, I'm, the, I'm just a messenger. But I understand the law. Because it's mental. I have the choice to live the life that I want to live. I choose to live happy. I choose to live positive. I choose to live abundant. I don't choose anything less than that. All right? And I hope you guys do the same. Whatever you're going through in life... Your journey, yo, don't be weak at all. There's no room for weakness. There ain't. And you can, you can see it in life. Yo, like a lot of people aren't getting what they want in life. A lot of people aren't doing what they should be doing. A lot of people aren't living into their most potential because like I said, it's mental. The way how people live their lives is a result of how they think about themselves. You know? I think my life is strong. I think my life is beautiful. Like, look at my skin. I'm... I'm beautiful. I'm strong, man. You can see the muscles popping out, B. That's how I lose. That's how, but that's how I choose to live my life. And I'm going to continue to choose to live my life like that because 
I am the source. If I had to choose, if I had the choice to live a great life or live a bad life, what the hell you think I'm gonna choose? Why in the hell would I want to choose a bad life? And that's the same thing with you guys. Why in the hell would you want to live a bad life? So align yourself with the good vibration. Align yourself with positivity. Align yourself with the universe so you can receive these blessings. There's so much blessings out there for us. There's so much untapped potential for us. But we're not going out there to get it. Why? Because subconsciously we're being negative. Subconsciously we're doing all the things that take us out of the source, which is us. Internet, social media, men, women, script clubs, our ego, trying to be better than somebody. Like, yo, none, none of that shit matters. None of that shit matters, man. And in order for you to receive the things that you ever want in life, man, align yourself with the universe. Be positive, okay? Take time out to love yourself. Take time out to get to know yourself. Learn your habits. Learn your patterns. Who's going to learn more about you than you? Like, yo, you're the source. Stop going to your therapist. Stop going to your friends. Stop going to your parents. Who knows you more than you? You deserve that. The universe doesn't support weakness, guys. You got to be strong in this. You got to be built for this. We, and, and, and the thing about it is we're already, we're already built for this. We're the source. We are that energy. It just... We was given the choice to do what we want to do. And a lot of us chose to go that way. When we should be going right to ourselves. The universe doesn't support weakness, man. If you're weak in this game and you're not going to... You're not going to make it, man. You're not, man. This is Benny Matthews, everybody. I hope, you learned, I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comment box down below how you feel about this, man. We're not being weak forever. We strong. We strong, baby. We positive. I'm out, guys.